Several Critical Role miniatures from WizKids have been cancelled before release. So what's behind these minis getting pulled from production? Explain yourself. Critical Role has been partnering with WizKids to create pre-painted and unpainted miniatures based on their hit actual play for years. But in the last week, it turns out at least two major upcoming Critical Role products from WizKids have been abandoned. Was this due to lack of pre-order sales, trouble with the molds, or something else entirely? Why not take a second to hit those like and subscribe buttons to help us keep this channel going? And then, let's dive into what's behind these Critical Role cancellations. So first off, let's talk about what has vanished off the WizKids site in the last few days. According to Reddit users, WizKids sent out emails to fans who had pre-ordered the upcoming Shade Mother miniature from their Critical Role collection to tell them they would no longer be offering the product, and that their pre-order would be refunded. No official word was given as to why the Shade Mother was cancelled, but in that same post, other users pointed out that the upcoming EXU Calamity box set of pre-painted Critical Role miniatures had also been pulled off the website, and several emails appearing to show the cancellation and the refund for that model also appeared. And if you look on the WizKids website, where the EXU Calamity box once was is now a 404 error page instead. So why is WizKids suddenly canceling Critical Role models, and should critters be concerned? Let's break it down. According to a source on Mini Galleries, who appears to work as an RPG miniatures coordinator for WizKids, not enough people pre-ordered the minis, so it wasn't financially viable to go ahead with production, even though prototypes and some molds had already been made. That would explain why both products have been in the pre-order status for so long, being announced way back in 2023, as apparently WizKids was trying to give them as much time as possible to generate the pre-orders necessary to take the minis to production. Now, that said, there has also been some kind of manufacturing issue with WizKids in the last several months, with many of their other miniature lines seeing huge delays as well, especially their Heroclix minis. But even then, you'd have to imagine that the models that did get cut were the ones with the least pre-orders so that the company could focus on getting back on track with their miniatures that had the most pre-orders first. But either way, should critters be concerned? Is this some kind of sign of the waning popularity of Critical Role? And the answer to that is simply no. There are still various Critical Role pre-orders up on the WizKids site, including a life-size baby trinket, and even box sets for the Crown Keepers made it into production. The issue could simply be that these models are so specific that it would be hard to use them as anything but those exact characters in a home game. I mean, how many of us run a changeling in a modern gold business suit in their D&D party? No one I'm aware of. People love Critical Role, but if the miniatures themselves are so distinct to that Critical Role campaign and character, it becomes hard to justify buying them for your own game, as most players don't want to literally play as Loquacious or Pinch from EXU, and there's not a lot else you can do with those models. They want to see stories and actual plays featuring those characters. Basically, these are more collectibles than they are usable D&D minis, especially when you consider their higher than usual price tag. And the market for tiny, moderately detailed D&D minis as collectibles that don't really fit into being actual tabletop miniatures in your campaign is just not very big. But when it comes to Critical Role merch that is tailored to collectibles, that is still selling like crazy other places. For example, their amazing sideshow statues and art prints, which routinely sell out despite their hefty price tags. Or even their own stuffed Bells Hells plushies and pins, things that are clearly meant to be collected and not made for practical use in a D&D campaign, those are all selling just fine right now. So for the time being, there is no need to panic. This is not some indictment on the popularity of Critical Role, this is just Critical Role and WizKids realizing that if they make tabletop miniatures that are too incredibly specific to fit into most people's campaigns, it becomes hard to justify those higher price tags, as people want miniatures they can use to play as their own characters. Critters who play D&D might want to play characters inspired by or similar to the cast of various campaigns, but they don't seem to want to step into those huge actual play shoes of the specific characters from Critical Role. No one wants to 
compete with Matt Mercer and Travis Willingham and Laura Bailey by trying to replicate their exact characters. They want to see the Critical Role cast telling stories with those characters instead. But what do you think? Are you sad you won't be getting your hands on the EXU Calamity miniatures anytime soon? And would you have pre-ordered a model as niche as the Shade Mother? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. <laughs>